right, coming into 232 Branch Street. This is a 1,056 square foot ranch. There's three bedrooms, one bathroom, this high ceilinged living room with laminate wood floors. You can see there's baseboard hot water heat. I will show you the utility room, which is actually right out around the back door. Let's go there first. There's no basement here, which I know is a bit unusual, but that's the way it is. So in this little utility room, all you have is this Wheel McLean gold boiler. And there's also the electrical panel. It is 100 amps. It's nicely labeled. There's extra breaker spaces available. This house had a complete renovation in about 2006. So I believe that's how old the boiler and electrical panel are. So while we're outside, why don't we just finish the outside tour? The deck obviously needs a little bit of love. We've got some chipping, peeling paint here and just some wood rot. So I certainly would encourage you to think about replacing or at the very least repainting this next summer. It includes the shed. All of these trees and that stone wall are on this property. Little peekaboo mountain views over there. That is actually the Roaring Branch River, but I'm happy to say that this is not in a flood zone. Very flat yard. There's also a lot of really nice landscaping over here. This is all part of the property. That is what we locals know as the Brooklyn Bridge, the very corner of um, county and branch streets. There's the bulkhead that goes down to just a very small crawl space. So all of this landscaping is part of this property. There's a paved driveway. There's some front landscaping that leaves a bit to be desired, but there are some beds in here with some perennials. They just have not been tended to in a while. So here's another view of the roof, which looks awesome. Chimney has a rain cap on it. Let's go in and finish the tour where it's a bit warmer. <laughs> All right, so back in the living room. Now you see what it's like to come in from the front door. Large uh, coat closet right there. Just gonna shut the door. It is a little cold out. The door definitely needs some work. I do wanna be transparent about that. It's kind of tight at the top and very loose and wide at the bottom. You see there's an air gap. Uh, that is something that should be prioritized, I would think, by the new owner. So again, just pointing out these really nice high ceilings. And then we're going to head into the kitchen, which also has the laundry hookup. And right next to that is a pantry. The washer and dryer are going to stay along with the dishwasher, but both the fridge and the stove have been removed. The ones that were here were very old. Uh, the vent hood actually does work, so that's still here as well. I'm gonna wanna replace the kitchen sink. This is as clean as we could get it. It's just a simple drop-in style, so very easy to swap out. Uh, these are Formica countertops, but they are really quite pretty. Um, it's a gray and black pattern. There's the view from the kitchen window. 
with the mountains looking towards the white rocks. Tiled floor in here. And then in this corner of the house, we have three bedrooms and a bath. So I'll start here in the front. This bedroom does not have a closet, but it is on the front corner. So it's nice and bright, mountain views. And there's these four built-in bookcases, which I think are awesome. So maybe this becomes an office or a playroom, gym, hobby, whatever space you need it for. Back here, we've got the second bedroom. There's only one small window in here that looks out to the backyard and the deck. There's a small closet in this room. All the rooms do have overhead lighting, which I love. Not every house has that. And then this I would call the master bedroom just because it actually has the largest closet. It looks like it's just a small opening, but it's that whole space. So if you wanted to make this opening bigger uh, and do like a sliding or a bifold door in here, you would have a lot of storage space. Okay. Let me spin around this way. So windows here are facing the north side yard towards the bridge, and then this one towards the back. Oh, look at Mount Anthony right there. So pretty today. It's a nice blue sky day. And then the last room I have to show you is the bathroom. So the tile floor from the kitchen flows right into the bathroom. Uh, there's some storage with a medicine cabinet as well as this other additional cabinet. Small vanity. There is a full-size tub. And there's a tiled surround. It's actually kind of got this little pretty raised detail. And there's even a window for extra ventilation. So that is 232 Branch Street.